Welcome to another tutorial from healthvid.net. Today we're going to be doing just a basic tutorial on navigation in Dreamweaver. Uh, how to navigate, things we're going to be using as we develop a site. So we'll just open up Dreamweaver. This is what we're going to be using to develop our site. So I thought better just do a little tutorial for those that's not familiar with the application then when they actually follow along with the tutorials they'll find it much easier to follow along as they've watched this and they know exactly what we're going to be using where it is type thing so this is Dreamweaver this is the first page that opens up as soon as we open up Dreamweaver and in the bottom here in the bottom right hand side this is our files palette this is where all of your files do your website are stored uh, under this here your files palette so just now I'll just click on my index page here, the first page. This is a website where they're actually developing uh, in the tutorials. So this here is your design view where you can see this header, uh, your links here and your main body area where you're putting your content. So just at the top here to the left hand side near the top you can see three tabs. One's called design one's named split and one named code. Now the design view is the view that we're in at the moment. This is the design view where we can actually see our design. The split view however gives us a split view of our HTML code, our source code and down the bottom gives us our design. Now it's really good even if you don't know HTML, even more so if you don't know HTML, to have this open as much as possible. The reason being, a little, even a little bit of HTML knowledge goes a long, long way. As you're developing your page here, you will see the raw code going in here and it really helps you understand what's going on with your website. Also, in here, just to give you a little bit of knowledge about uh, HTML, everything, this is a title here. So it's open angle bracket, title, close angle bracket, then your title, and then every thing here has to be closed. So we have to close this title, giving it a forward slash, and that's actually closing this. And that is giving us this name here, motorbikes. So if we come up here and just change this to classic bikes. enter you would see it would actually change in here as well. Also if we come down into our design view and just click in this box and we'll come to we'll just add a div tag here and we'll just see this appearing in here also. So if I just insert a div tag after the start of a tag, after the body tag, give it an ID of test tag OK, you'll see it here and you'll see it highlighted also. You'll see it in here in your design view and you'll actually see it in here as well. So this is the content for ID test tag it goes here. Now as you can see we've opened a div ID testing and because we've opened a div we have to close it with this symbol. So we've closed that div and everything inside of that div is here. This is in essence inside the div tag. So we'll just delete that just now, hit refresh and we'll come back to design view. So that was a split view. Now the code view is just, uh, sorry, we'll go split. The code view is just this only. It's really used for developers. So if we come to above this you will see source code this is what we've got here this is our html and if we click on layout.css code this is giving us all of our css so this is the background color the width border all the attributes you've assigned to this particular div tag so just down here we'll come to our navigation bar so i'll just go to split view just now and we'll scroll up and find our navigation bar here it is here now as you can see this is our div tag for our navigation 
we've gave it a height of 30 pixels which you can see here is the height we've gave it a border of none and we've gave it a background colour of 333 this is this here and we've gave it a text align centre so this is in all the attributes for this so we could change this to text align left and if we click refresh and if we watch here we'll see our navigation aligns left so again we'll put it back to centre click refresh and we'll see it going back so that's the CSS and this is the way we're going to de developing our site using CSS uh, you'll really be hard pushed to find a high-end developer that isn't using CSS uh, unless of course his client has requested that their website be made up using tables uh, and it might be the case because they're a little bit familiar with tables as it's the old way to do things but CSS gives you more control over your website it's a, a kind of a much better way to develop it so the next thing we're going to look at is a small globe here now Dreamweaver has also got a live view but I tend not to use it too much because this is better I think anyway so this little globe if you just click on it and we hit preview in whatever browser of your choice and it will pop up the save change to index we'll just click yes this is you previewing your website in your browser type thing live so just wait a couple of seconds in Firefox opening up and here we go So this is our website in Firefox, don't know what happened there, seemed to take forever. So this is a good way to test out your links to see if they're working. So we just click on events and you can see this is my events page. I'm still developing this site in the tutorials. So this is my sales page, click on parts, click on contact and you can see all your links are working and the image is also linking back to the index page. So just click on that and as you can see everything's fine so we'll just click out of there again so that's a good little tool to have that lets you preview it in the browser type thing so really the where we're going to be using most is this uh, insert a div tag here just there and this is found in your common toolbar here so this might be over on your right hand side uh, beside your CSS palette and this is the CSS palette here so if we zoom in here you can see we were in earlier on uh, with the wrapper navigation and we changed the colour uh, sorry we changed the alignment from centre to left so this is it here the layout.css so again we can access that here by just double clicking on wrapper navigation and uh, again this time we can just come into a background change the background to red just so it's easy to see and you can see it changes there we change it to green and you can see it changes so that's the way you access your div tags and edit the CSS so that's pretty much it uh, this common toolbar is the one we're going to be in most of the time and inserting div tags and this layout uh, this CSS palette over here and obviously as we said at the start your files are down here on the right hand side so hopefully this will help and if you watch this video a couple of times uh, it will just familiar, familiarise yourself with the tools that we're going to be using and it will uh, make things a whole lot easier when it comes to actually developing the site so thanks for watching and until the next tutorial stay safe